So at the end of each video, I usually go over render settings that I do because I, I want to make sure you guys know exactly uh, how to render your scenes, but I don't want to keep doing that in every single video. Um, so I figured that I'd make a video specifically just for render settings. Hey guys, it's Kai. Welcome back to uh, Tuts by Kai. Today we're going to be going over all the render settings I usually use for my projects. We're actually not going to delete the camera, the cube, and the light this time. I know, it's, it's a big shock. But let's drag open our panel over here to look at our render settings. Um, of course, this resolution tab over here is, of course, going to want to be all the way on 100%. Because if it's only on 50%, that's going to give you like like 950 or whatever the resolution is whatever 1920 by 1080 is in half so split that in half and then that'll be your render if it's only on 50 so make sure that's on 100 percent and as you can tell our render is much bigger already um so that's that it does take a little bit more time to render in 1080 so i recommend going down to 1280 um 720 if you're having a problem with render times because that'll once again decrease our size but it'll also decrease the render times as you can tell um so we can leave all of this alone, we can leave all this alone, of course you're going to want sampled motion blur if you're in blender render, if you're in cycles, then you'll have a different uh, tick mark, uh, you can uh, just use uh, motion blur down here, that's way faster in uh, cycles render, but cycles takes longer to render, so do with that what you will. If you're going to be using sampled motion blur, I recommend turning these samples up to at least 12, um, so what this means is if I move this cube, so if I uh, insert a keyframe here and then move it 5 frames over here, if I uh, render this, you'll be able to tell that it'll render 12 different frames for each frame. So this motion blur, it will have 12 different overlaid images on top of each other um, to give us the one uh, to give us the one frame. You see how that works right there. So uh, I definitely recommend Cycles motion blur better than uh, uh, Blender renders motion blur. But moving forward, we can go on down. You can leave all of these. If you want a transparent background, of course, you'd take transparent. And now uh, here's where we get into the nitty gritty stuff. In the output, of course, you'll put your uh, videos folder, your desktop, your whatever, whatever have you, wherever you want that to render to. Um, if you're rendering a photo, of course, PNG or JPEG or uh, or BNP, a uh, BMP, excuse me, um, and stuff like that. And if you're rendering an image, you don't want to render 250 images down here. So you want to scroll in and only select one frame, whatever frame you want to render. So if that's a frame 155, make sure it starts and ends on a frame 155. So now it'll only render that frame um, right there, right there. So uh, let's put that back on zero. So if I wanted to render a video, I would go over here to uh, H.264. You can do uh, you can do Avi. Um, but I recommend H.264, RGB, and you go over down to encoding and change the format to MP, uh, EG4, or I, you could, you know, you could do AVI or whatever. Um, of course, if you're doing uh, audio, you would do, uh, you would just do regular uh, OGG or something, something like that. But uh, the, the really tricky thing about this is if you want to render a video with a transparent background, background instead of just a photo, if you want to render a video with transparent background, you can't just have the transparent uh, selected, wherever that was right here. You can't just have that ticked and think it's going to work. No, 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 no. You have to uh, scroll on down to encoding. Make sure the format is on QuickTime. Uh, the codec is on FFMPEG video codec number one. And then check check this RGBA uh, tick, tick box. So now if I want to render the video, then it has the transparent background. Um, this is very, very important because you'll sit here and you'll render this for hours and hours and hours and you'll realize that the video does not have a transparent background because you did not do these QuickTime, FFMPG, um, video codec number one, and RGBA. This A means alpha. So if it doesn't have an A after it, then it's not going to be alpha. Um, so that is, that's pretty much all of the render settings I wanted to go over. Of course, once you're done, you don't want to hit just render image because that's not going to actually give you a rendered file. You want to hit render animation up here, render animation. You're going to do this for even if you want to just render one picture frame, you're going to, you're going to hit render animation and that'll render that one frame for you. Um, so that's all of the render settings I usually go over at the end of each video. Now I will just redirect uh, all of my videos to this video instead of having to go through all of these settings in the end of a video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'll see you guys then. But until then, bye.